satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat, the mystery of your presence, Lord. No mortal tongue can tell whom all the Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, today, yes indeed, we will realize that the last shall be first. As we enter into this celebration, we acknowledge our frailty and ask for the Lord's mercy and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for all of us at the throne of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And now let's glorify our kind and merciful Father. Glory, Glory to God, God the in the highest, highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O oh God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Father you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, of the world have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. You take, you take away the sins, sins of the world, world receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated you at the right, right hand of the Father, Father have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. For you, For you alone are the Holy One, one. you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. On the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time, brothers and sisters, let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain <clears throat> eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your only Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us open our heart and ears to the good news. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The godless say, let us lie in wait for the righteous one, who makes life inconvenient to us and opposes our actions, who repro reproaches us for sins against the law and accuses us of sins against our training. Let us see if his words are true, and let us test what will happen at the end of his life. For if the righteous one is God's son, God will help him and will deliver him from the hand of his adversaries. Let us test him with insult and torture so that we may find out how gentle he is and make trial of his forbearance. Let us condemn him to a shameful death for according to what he says, 
he will be protected. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits. Without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy, And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Speak, Lord, we are The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. After leaving the mountain, Jesus and his disciples went on from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, Jesus asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? They were silent, for on the way, They had argued with one another who was the greatest. Jesus sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them. And taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. If anyone wishes to be first, 
he shall be last and servant of all. If it weren't for the facts, this saying would be very hard to believe. And yet our brains have a hard time, very hard time embracing it. We should not wonder. This saying wasn't meant for the brain, but for the heart. And when the heart embraces it truly, the mind catches up to it. When I think of the last being first, I think, for example, of a graduation ceremony where the principal calls out to my surprise and horror, the Z's before the A's, the Zimmerman before the Allen. I guess God, like man, can roll call us whenever in the order he chooses. And he so happens to choose the last before the first. It might seem screwed up to us, but that's only because we've turned his world upside down while Christ turned it right side up. In an interview, a well-known politician said something to the effect, the best leaders under promise and over deliver. I could not agree with him less. It would even be more fitting for him to say, the best politicians under promise and over deliver. Real leaders are not real politicians. Leaders, true leaders, are humble, yet tenacious. Tenacious because they deliver what they promise. Humble because they recognize the great potential of those under them and with them. They spend time and money and energy training them to replace them. Sound familiar? Christ was humble and tenacious, and he prepared his disciples quite well. The Lord spent time, precious time, quality time with the twelve, preparing them for his eventual departure. And although they loved to debate among themselves with regards to who was the greatest, the Lord did not immediately interject and put the argument to rest by saying, I am the greatest, and you most definitely are not. Instead, he allowed them to debate and reminded them of what it took to be real great. You must serve all. I know a lot of moms, a lot of dads out there who wonder if their children and maybe grandchildren will ever remember or appreciate all the sacrifices, physical, financial, spiritual, and emotional, the pains and trauma they suffered for their beloved children. I'm not sure what the answer to that question is. I do know that God will remember it. Christians, my friends, are called to live their lives in a radically different way that human beings live their lives. It's not that we have a monopoly on serving. We would never want that. But we do have a monopoly when it comes to living like the poorest of the poor, to be with the poor. As Pope Francis reminds us, or living and dying like a leper, to be with the rejected and the lepers, or being a prisoner in a concentration camp and dying like a Jew, to be like Jesus. In our world, they would be considered the least of all. In God's world, they, along with the humble brothers and sisters they have, are considered the greatest of all. Christ gave a face to the faceless. He gave sight to the blind, hope to the hurt, a lift to the lame, and love to the unlovable. He served, and when all appeared as a loss, he received and was glorified. Take comfort, moms and dads, single parents. As we begin a new week, let us strive to be more like Jesus, who was the greatest servant of all. Amen. 
And now, brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith, the faith of our church and baptism. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under the Pontius Pilate, 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 was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come from there to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Touched by the word of God proclaimed and preached, we now present our prayers to the Father. For the church, sign and source of salvation, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may always have a childlike faith in the Father, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our government leaders may be filled with the Spirit of God to become true peacemakers, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the sick and the infirm and all those separated from their parish communities who join us today, that this Mass, celebrated for them, will bring comfort and joy. We Lord, pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Almighty Father, help us to understand that we can do nothing without your help and your support. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Wash me from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we all acclaim. Holy holy holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've made us and held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, your friends, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And now in our heart, let us express hope and charity for those we love and those we don't love enough. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. My brothers, my sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with the sacred sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go in peace. Thanks be to and God. To God. Thank you for celebrating with us on this Sunday morning. A special word of thanks to Father Pierre Robitaille. Father Pierre is the Director of Liturgy for the Diocese of Quebec and also a member of the faculty of the Grand Seminary. As you know, we come together every week with you, our television community, to celebrate the Eucharist. And I know how much it means to you. We gather before Mass to pray for your intentions. I thank you as well for your financial support that makes the Mass possible. I ask you perhaps this week to take maybe just five minutes out by yourself and pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Until next week at this time, rest assured of our prayers and please keep us in yours. God bless you.